Amidst the chaos and uncertainty of our world, the search for inner peace and resilience has captivated the minds and hearts of countless individuals throughout history. One of the most profound philosophies that guides us on this journey is Stoicism. Within the realm of Stoic philosophers, there is a figure whose wisdom and teachings continue to inspire and enlighten us today, Epictetus, a former slave who devoted his life to exploring the principles of Stoicism. Epictetus believed that true freedom and happiness could be achieved by mastering one's own mind and emotions, regardless of external circumstances. In his pursuit, he developed seven Stoic principles that, when embraced, have the power to empower us to face life's challenges with unshakable strength and tranquility. In this video, we will delve deeper into these principles and discover how they can help us navigate the ups and downs of life. According to Epictetus, uncovering the profound wisdom and timeless insights they offer, let these principles be your guiding stars on your path towards a life where nothing can truly affect your inner peace and happiness. No but one, the dichotomy of control, Epictetus said. Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. The first and perhaps the most fundamental principle in the Stoic philosophy, according to Epictetus, is the dichotomy of control. It's, it's a powerful concept that revolves around distinguishing between what we can control and what we cannot. By doing so, we free ourselves from the unnecessary burdens of worry, anxiety and frustration. Imagine a ship navigating through treacherous waters. The captain can control the ship's course, but he has no power over the weather. The wise captain focuses on what he can control, the ship's direction, speed and safety measures, and accepts the uncontrollable elements, like storms, as part of the journey. Likewise in life, we must recognize that many things are beyond our control. The weather, other people's actions, the past and even some aspects of our own bodies. Worrying about these elements only drains our energy and causes needless suffering. Instead, Epictetus urges us to focus our efforts and attention on what we can control. Our thoughts, actions and responses to external events uh, by embracing the dichotomy of control. You free yourself from the tyranny of external circumstances you become the captain of your own ship, navigating life's challenges with grace and resilience. When you let go of the need to control everything, you find inner peace and serenity. Even in the midst of life storms, no number two acceptance of external events, Epictetus said, seek not the good in external things, seek it in yourselves. In a world where material possessions, social status and, and external success often dominate our aspirations, Epictetus reminds us of the importance of seeking, the good within ourselves. This second Stoic principle revolves around accepting external events, both pleasant and unpleasant, with equanimity, and finding our true source of happiness within. We all face situations in life that we would rather avoid. Loss, failure, or rejection, and disappointment. These events can be painful and unsettling. However, Stoicism teaches us that true happiness doesn't come from external circumstances, but from our internal state of mind. Imagine a sculptor chiseling away at a block of marble. He doesn't blame at the parts he removes. Instead, he focuses on revealing the masterpiece within. In the same way, we should view life's challenges as opportunities for inner growth and self-discovery. Epictetus encourages us to accept both the good and the bad as part of the human experience. By doing so, we free ourselves from the roller coaster of the emotions that external events can trigger. We learn to find contentment and joy within, regardless of our external circumstances. This acceptance doesn't imply positivity or resignation, but rather an empowered approach to life. It means facing challenges head on, making the best choices, and leaving the rest of fate. In this way, you, you become resilient unshaken by the UPS and downs of life, and discover a profound sense of inner peace. Number three, control of emotions. Epic Tattoo said, no man is free who is not a master of himself. Emotions can be powerful and overwhelming, often leading us to make impulsive decisions or clotting our judgment. Epic Titus believed that mastering our emotions was essential for achieving true freedom. 
The third Stoic principle, control of emotions and teaches us to become the master of our and emotional responses. Think of your mind as a charioteer, guiding a team of horses. The horses represent your emotions while you, the charioteer, symbolize your rational mind. If the horses run wild and unchecked, they can lead you astray. But if you learn to control them, you can navigate your life with wisdom and purpose. Epictetus encourages us to cultivate emotional resilience by examining our reactions to external events. When faced with adversity or provocation, pause and reflect before reacting. Are your emotions getting the best of you? Can you respond with reason and composure instead of impulsivity? This principle doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but rather understanding and channeling them effectively. Emotions can be valuable signals that help us recognize our values and priorities. They can also fuel our determination and passion. By controlling our emotions, we harness their power for positive change and avoid being slaves to them. As you gain mastery over your emotions, you'll experience a profound sense of freedom. You'll no longer be tossed about by the storms of anger, fear or desire instead. You'll become the captain of your emotional ship navigating the waters of life with grace and resilience. Number four, the power of choice. Epictetus said, in our power, our thought impulse, will to get and will to avoid. The fourth stoic principle, according to Epictetus, is the recognition of the power of choice and he believed that our true freedom lies in our ability to choose our thoughts, desires and actions. By exercising this power wisely, we can shape our destiny and can find lasting happiness. Consider your thoughts, desires and actions as the raw materials with which you build. The structure of your life, just as a skilled architect plans and constructs a building, you have the power to design your life. According to your values and principles, Epictetus emphasizes the importance of aligning your choices with your highest ideals when you face a decision. Ask yourself, does this choice align with my core values? Will it lead me closer to a life of virtue and happiness? Your choices should be a reflection of your true self, not the result of external pressures or fleeting desires. Epic Tattoos teaches us that our power of choice extends beyond our actions and to our thoughts and attitudes and you can choose. How you interpret events, whether positively or negatively, you can decide to respond to adversity with resilience and courage, rather than succumbing to despair. By recognizing the power of choice, you become the architect of your destiny. You shape your character, determine your path, and find meaning and purpose in every decision. With this principle, nothing can affect you because you choose how to respond to life's challenges in a way that aligns with your values and aspirations. Number five, living in the present moment, Epictetus said, let silence be your general rule or say only what is necessary and, and in few words, in a world filled with distractions and noise, it's easy to lose sight of. The present moment, the fifth stoic principle, as elucidated by Epictetus, emphasizes the importance of living in the here and now, practicing mindfulness and cultivating inner peace through silence and simplicity and imagine standing in the middle of a bustling market square, surrounded by a cacophony of voices, sights and smells. It's overwhelming and it's easy to get lost in the chaos, however, if you learn to focus your attention on the present moment. The noise becomes background and you find a deep sense of tranquility. Epic Tattoos advises us to practice silence and to speak only when necessary. This doesn't mean suppressing our voices but rather using words mindfully. By doing so, we cultivate a sense of inner stillness and clarity, allowing us to respond to life's challenges with wisdom and composure. Living in the present moment also means letting go of regrets about the past and anxieties about the future. The past is beyond our control and the future is uncertain. Uh, what we have is the here and now by fully engaging with the present, we can make the most of our opportunities and, and savor the richness of uh, each moment. This principle teaches us that 
our inner peace is, not contingent on external circumstances, but is a state of mind that we can nurture. Through mindfulness and simplicity, by living in the present moment, you can find serenity and contentment regardless of the chaos and noise of the world around you. No more six practicing gratitude, Epic Titus said. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things at which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has in a culture that often emphasizes what we lack rather than what we have. Epic Titus reminds us of the power of gratitude and the sixth Stoic principle encourages us to find joy and contentment in the simple pleasures of life and appreciate what we already possess. Imagine a person who constantly craves more and more wealth, more possessions, more status. They are forever chasing after what they don't have, often at the expense of their present happiness. In contrast, the wise person acknowledges and celebrates the abundance and already present in their life. Practicing gratitude is about shifting your focus from what's missing to what's abundant. It's about recognizing the beauty in everyday experiences, the love of friends and family, and the gift of life itself. When you cultivate gratitude, you realize that happiness doesn't depend on accumulating more, but on appreciating what you have. Epic Tattoos teaches us to avoid the trap of it comparing ourselves to others, as it often leads to envy and discontent. Instead, he encourages us to compare ourselves to our former selves, to see how we've grown and improved over time. This perspective fosters a sense of gratitude for the progress we've made. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to negative emotions and a key to lasting happiness. When you practice it consistently, you find that external circumstances have less power over your well-being and your joy emanates from within and nothing can a truly affect your inner sense of contentment. Number seven, embracing adversity. Epic Titus said, disease is an impediment to the body, but not to the will and unless the will itself chooses. The final stoic principle, according to Epic Titus, is the art of embracing adversity, he believed, that challenges and setbacks are not hindrances, but opportunities for growth and self-improvement by adopting this perspective, we become resilient and unshakable in the face of light's trials. Consider a tree in a storm. As the winds blow and when the branches sway at the tree's roots, dig deeper into the earth and anchoring it firmly. Adversity in the form of the storm doesn't weaken the tree but strengthens it. Similarly, adversity can either break us or make us stronger, depending on our response, Epic Tattoos teaches us to see adversity as a chance to test and improve our character. When we face challenges, we have the opportunity to practice our stoic principles at the dichotomy of control, acceptance of external events, control of emotions, the power of choice living in the present moment, and practicing gratitude Instead of complaining or resigning ourselves to suffering, we can ask ourselves, how can I respond to this and adversity in a way that aligns with my values and, and principles? By doing so, we transform adversity into a stepping stone towards personal growth and, and inner strength. This principle also underscores the importance of resilience. Life is filled with difficulties and no one is exempt from adversity. By embracing these challenges as opportunities and for growth, you become unshakable in at the face of life storms. Adversity becomes a teacher, guiding you towards greater wisdom and resilience. In the pages of an Epic Titus's Stoic teachings, we find a roadmap to a life of unshakable inner peace and resilience. These seven Stoic principles at the dichotomy of control acceptance of external events, control of emotions, the power of choice living in the present moment, practicing gratitude and embracing adversity, form a foundation upon which you can build the life of virtue and fulfillment.
as you embrace these principles, you become the master of your destiny, unswayed by the winds of external circumstances. You find solace in the simplicity of the present moment and the richness of gratitude, and you discover the strength to face adversity with grace and resilience. In short, you become the embodiment of epic Titus's ideal stoic, a person whose happiness and freedom are truly unassailable. So as you embark on your journey to apply these stoic principles to your life, remember that the power to change and grow lies within you. Epictetus and, and the stoic philosophers have illuminated the path, but it is you who must walk it, embrace these principles with an open heart and a steadfast spirit, and, and you will find that nothing can truly affect your inner peace and, and happiness. You will become the master of your fate and the captain and of your soul and, and a beacon as of inspiration to others on their own journey. To stoic wisdom, 